What's up, Three Pound Fishing Nation? We're back, and I've got an awesome, awesome video for you. Now, for those that have been following the drama with my trolling motor, um, and just for those that have not, I'll just tell you, I broke my trolling motor shaft right about here. And this is a brand new shaft that uh, Harrison's here locally took care of me. Harrison's took care of me. Took a week to get that shaft in, and it didn't matter where I went for the most part. It was gonna take a week. But unfortunately, when they put my live scope transducer on, now well, they put it on backwards because I like to have that prop inside the boat. So we're gonna start the day off by switching that over to the orientation that I like, and we'll go through that. Uh, but today's episode is pretty exciting because guess what we're gonna be talking about? We're gonna be talking about the new crappie formulation right there from uh, the original fish formula company. That's what this episode is gonna be about. We're gonna be using hair jigs. I got some actual hair jigs that I made specifically for this episode. So I look forward to sharing that with you. And then just to make sure we get this out there early in the episode, new gold jig heads. These are flat out awesome. Gold head. We, we might fish with these at the end, but I wanted to show you they're available on the website now. But like I said, first things first, we can't fish until we get that thing moved around. And I could fish with it with it like that, but I just want to go ahead and put it in the orientation that I feel most comfortable with. So that's where we're going to go with it. Um, let's do that. Thanks for watching Three Pound Fishing, partnered up with these fantastic companies. So for those that don't know how I broke this trolling motor, I was on a guide trip actually, and I was out at uh, Ren Lake and this prop here absolutely crushes it. You can check out that video, I'll link it up here above. And uh, when I say crushes it, I mean, it's just got some push. I mean, it pushes this boat like you wouldn't believe. And anyway, you put three grown men in the front of a boat and you run straight into a, a stump. Well, something's gotta lose out. And unfortunately it was the shaft. I mean, it broke straight up. Um, we still, had our limit just right, about, just short of our limit before it happened. So we were fortunate there. We were only making a move because we were catching so many fish. We were like, whatever, let's just go somewhere else and try something totally different. I do believe it's important to have your, the shaft of the trolling or the, uh, the prop on the inside. So when you're rolling down the road, you don't have to worry about it getting hit or if it's underneath your tarp or your, your boat cover, you don't have to worry about it hitting something. So we're gonna flip this over and use the orientation that I'm most familiar with. Now, I think a good question to ask would be, is one better than the other? This, I guess it's the starboard versus the port side. Um, it doesn't. I've used both. I haven't seen an improved picture on either or how you position or orientate these. I think what's important to know is that your transducer comes with an eight degree mount, and I prefer the zero degree. Most guys do prefer the zero degree. And I think the thought process was that you get the eight degree, it uh, flares it out so it doesn't get affected by the barrel. But really, I don't think it get it doesn't get affected. Um, you know, you adjust it to a point where it doesn't and it works just great. So somewhere around 15 inches above the barrel is what I was told. And so I kind of stick with that. And if I have blind spots when I get out there, I make the adjustment. Let's see, we're already there. And I'm just kind of lining it up, making sure it looks like it's pretty good. And there you go, it's done. It's in the orientation that I like. I feel like it's lined up pretty good. And with that, we'll start fishing. And uh, let's talk about some original fish formula stuff. Boom, let's do it. I can't believe we're back on the water. It's taken, it's been a week. It's been over a week. It took five, hour, five days to get the, uh, the shaft in. Uh, you know, two days basically, they really just, really just one day to get it installed. They also check some other things and uh, can't thank Harrison's enough so check them out if you have a, if you're here local, uh, Hearst, Illinois, check them out. Great, great shop. Um, live scope set up, hair jigs. Today, this is gonna be on the, the agenda, big time agenda. I'm gonna talk about the crappie formulation has the stamp of approval from three pound fishing right there. I've been using this for probably Gosh, probably going on two months now. I've had this in my boat, and when I feel like I need it, if I'm not getting what I need, and I want, and I need that finicky fish, I will always throw some crappie formulation on it. You can check them out. You can go to that baitpop.com. That's probably the easiest name to remember. Um, otherwise, you can go to theoriginalfishformula.com. So either one leads you to the same place, 
this, you know, either way, let's put some fish in the boat, then we'll talk. Anytime you move your transducer, you're worried that it's kind of messed up your, your alignment, which it will, it will change it a bunch, right? So you gotta find out where that sweet spot is again, whether it's slightly left of the line or slightly right of the line. That's the most important thing, what I'll do right off the bat, is kind of identify where that is. It's a windy day, water temperature at 66. We're talking full-time fall fishing, baby. And uh, this should be fun. Oh, there it is. Good fish. So I kind of want to do an episode on all the different types of scents that uh, the scent that the original fish formula has. This is called the crappie formulation. This is kind of what got it all started for the original fish formula. And you know, obviously I'm I'm, I'm excited to see that the you know the three pound fishing approvals on there, which I really love. Been using this for about two months, and I can tell you, all you have to do is shake it up because that sparkles, those sparkles right there will gather at the bottom. You just want to shake it up. And then you can apply it to a hair jig, a plastic, and we're gonna do that here shortly once this boat gets past us here. So there it is, crappie formulation. Those sparkles are gonna come in a variety of different colors, but right now it's kind of more of a rainbow. This is a 32 ounce jig, three pound fishing. There's my monkey milk right there. All I do is apply it. Um, let me open it up first here. There it is. So it's an easy application, just like that. And believe it or not, it will stay on there for a little bit longer than you would ever imagine. Again, I think the application's even better with hair jigs, and we'll try that out here today as well. But right now I'm using the paddle tail, and that's all it is, and it adds that scent. Now in the water, you will see the oil residue from the oil. And so don't think for a second that you're losing it all. It's still on the bait. It's the way I've been told, it's what I believe. Uh, but I do like the the sparkles when I when I'm adding it to the hair jig and I really feel like that hair jig is really grabbing it and holding on to it paste is awesome for uh, plastics but I use I I've actually when I first started working with the company I used the oil the crappie formulation before anything and then the paste came along and I do like the paste um, I'll use the paste on the plastics like I said I will not use the paste on the hair jigs and then of course bait pop which everybody's you know going crazy about I'll use in certain situations where if I'm really not seeing my bait. Um, but again, they all come with that scent from the original fish formula, which I think is the biggest value of their history is incredible. So let's fish. So right now we're still casting at 30 feet out and these fish are just way more aggressive. We've got 60 water, one water temperature in this area of the lake. There's another bite. I just, they're just, they're hitting extremely light. And again, I won't use it on every, every single time but when i think you know if i see a fish down there i think might it might be a benefit to use it then i do so always having a bottle of this the paste the bait pop in the boat that's you know i'm all about that choices having choices that's a big deal on the crappie tournament trail is uh being to have those options <laughs> now, I did switch up to the ghost, but I still got the crappie formulation on it. And again, again, I shake it up just like this. You've got a beautiful color right there. Beautiful color. And you can add that to anything. Now, trust me, when you add it to a white hair jig, I'm adding it to a white plastic. I can see the difference. But when you add it to a hair jig, it really pops. It can really change the looks of a hair jig. Woo baby, this is a lot of fun. Right there folks, good stuff. 
check it out crappy formulation definitely three pound fishing approved have a great one thanks for watching three pound fishing partnered up with these fantastic companies